Welcome back to Stats and Packs for Monday, January 3rd of 2022. Alright, let's roll a dice and see what we can get. And we'll go and it's six. So let's hit that thing six times. Alright. Oh. We got Tops 2021. Next time when we do this, on stats and packs, if we get one of the other boxes, we're going to open up two of them. But since this is such a big uh, pack of cards, we'll pick one of these numbers here. We've got one, two, three, looks like we have five packs left. So let's see what we can get there. Pick one of the numbers. Seven. Alright. We've got pack seven right there. Yep. All right, let's get ripping these open. 2021 Series 1. 2022 should be coming out in a month or so. As long as things aren't postponed. Done. Future stars. Astridis Aquino. Aristides Aquino. All right. All right, he didn't have much. <laughs> Must have been injured this year. 174 at bats, 25 runs, 33 hits, 10 home runs, 23 RBIs, 2 stone bases with a 190 average. Yeah, not very good at all. So, and he's been playing since 2018. I think he's had stats, so let's move on to the next one. Jose, Jose, you're quitty. Three different Jose with the last name. It starts with a U. Okay, he's a pitcher for Houston Astros. A twins, three losses, 3.62 ERA, 20 games, 20 games started, 107 innings pitched with 90 strikeouts. Yeah, okay, and the wins and losses. But like I said, too many no decisions from people this year. Daniel Johnson, rookie card. All right, Daniel Johnson. All right. He plays for no longer the Cleveland Indians, but the Guardians. 77 at-bats, 9 runs, 17 hits, 4 home runs, 5 RBIs, 1 stolen base, with a 221 average. So, yeah, limited time up there. Must have spent some time at the uh, minor leagues and stuff. Dalton Varshall, Ricky Card. All right. <laughs> okay, he is with the Diamondbacks. 284 at-bats, 41 runs, 70 hits, 11 home runs, 38 RBIs, 6 stolen bases with a 246 average. Yeah, so just the average this year, you know, <clears throat> a lot better than what he did last year with the limited time. Add those together, so kind of bringing that up. Carter Key boom. <laughs> All right, Carter Key boom. All right, he's been around for a few years. Two hundred and seventeen at bats, twenty six runs, forty five hits, six home runs, twenty RBIs, no stone bases, with a two oh seven average. I'm gonna make my prediction. He has not panned out so far. So, for the Washington Nationals, not so much. So he's up and down between probably minors and. Big league, so. Evan Longoria. I think he used to play, I think, was it Fresno State or somewhere like that in college? I can't remember, but whatever college it was. But he's been a decent player. 253 at bats, 45 runs, 66 hits, 13 home runs, 46 RBIs, one stone base with a 261 average. Yeah, he's with the Giants, but I remember him best when he was with the, the Rays. But yeah, 261, that's right around his 266 career, so they're getting what they expected. Miles Michaelis? Um, Miles Michaelis, I think, maybe. He's been around for about 10 years. Two wins, three losses, 4.23 ERA, nine games, nine games started, 
44.2 innings pitch with 31 strikeouts. I'm not sure what he is. I got wins and losses. Maybe he's a relief pitcher. I'm not. I haven't really uh, heard much about him. JD Martinez. Okay, JD Martinez. He's been around for a decade. 570 at bats, 92 runs, 163 hits, 28 home runs, 99 RBIs, no stone bases with a 286 average. Baseball Reference has him as a outfit and a DH, but this one has just the DH. I believe that's what it has on there. Yeah, just the DH for the Red Sox. But decent player. Ahmed Rosario. All right. And he is with the was with the Mets as of that card, but now he's with the Cleveland Guardians. So All right. 550 at bats, 77 runs, 155 hits, 11 home runs, 57 RBIs, 13 stolen bases with a 282 average. Yeah, 282 is pretty good. Let me look at this card. It looks... Yeah, this card's all damaged for some reason. Mm. It's got like a dent right there if you can see the crease in there. So it was in the middle of the pack, so that must have been the problem with quality control with the... <laughs> Yeah, not something we've done because none of the other cards are that way. Matt Chapman. And he's with? The A's. Oakland Athletics, yeah. That's one of the throwback cards. I like it. Not too bad. 529 at bat, 75 runs, 111 hits. 27 home runs, 72 RBIs, 3 stone bases with a 210 average. Alright, not a very good player right now, so... Oh, yeah, I'm PC in this guy. I've got a bunch of his stuff, so... Casey Mize, rookie card. I'm, uh, one that goes for my personal collection there. <clears throat> 7 wins, 9 losses, 3.71 ERA, 30 games, 30 games started... 150.1 innings pitched with 118 strikeouts. Hopefully, the Tigers can get them some more production and more wins than, than losses. 3.71, that's not too bad, but they've got some good people that are uh, there so Ryan, from the off season, so Ryan Brazier? Ryan Brazier. That looks like it could be a short print because it just... Yeah, they don't have cards like this very often. I don't know what the short print numbers are. But you don't see ones like this. More of the action shots on this stuff. So, uh, Let's see. Yeah. Oh, it got a S. Let's see. There we go. Get his name right. He is with the Boston Red Sox. One win, one loss, 1.5 ERA, 13 games, no game started, 12 innings pitched with nine strikeouts. Yeah, I don't know what his career is. It doesn't say on the back of the card. Maybe he's been with the Red Sox. He did the Angels in 2013, nothing until 2018, 1920, so interesting. I don't know. I'm going to put this one because I think, I don't know, just an interesting looking card. So I'm going to put it up there. Not that it's a player that people want to go after, but yeah. Nolan Arenado. And he is with St. Louis now, but see what... Always been a fan favorite at the Coors Field, but now with the Cardinals. 593 at-bats, 81 runs, 151 hits, 34 home runs, 105 RBIs, two stone bases with a 255 average. Yeah, that's below is 288, so yeah, just kind of a down year, but... Paul Goldschmidt. All right. He's also with the Cardinals. 603 at bats, 102 runs, 177 hits, 31 home runs, 99 RBIs, 12 stone bases with a 294 average. Yeah, that's pretty good. 294 and could be on his way to a Hall of Fame type career. 
Atlanta Braves team card. And we're going to put that up there because we know what the Atlanta Braves did this year. They won the World Series, so right on. Minnesota Twins team card. And let's just look and see what the Minnesota Twins did this year as a team. I don't know if they'll have their stats up or not, but I don't think they were too good or too bad. All right, let's see. All right, we have... All right. They finished... So I think they're in the AL Central, if I remember right. Okay. You don't want to scroll down for me. Uh, yeah, I can't figure that out. Anyways, yeah, the Minnesota Twins. They See if we can get standings here on MLB.com. That was not working there. And, yeah. So this is your stats and packs for Monday. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll be back on Wednesday with more opening day Wednesday. Have a great day. And the Minnesota Twins finally got the stats up. Did finish last in their division with 73 and 89. So that's the last stat for that. And we'll see you Wednesday.